when will it become inarguable, right? So I can tell you that 50 tonnes of food <clears throat> is currently being thrown away in Tesco. Tesco can say it is in large part, not entirely, obviously, we're in the in middle of a pandemic still. Uh, Tesco will say it is in large part because of Brexit. We can't get the drivers. Um, and you will say, no, it isn't. I wonder at what point does it become inarguable? The food and drink exports to European countries in the first three months of this year have gone down by about a half. Yeah, of course they have, James. There's a pandemic on. Food and drink exports to the rest of the world have returned roughly to normal levels. So that is not the reason. I have noticed in my local convenience store a shortage of fresh produce. I have absolutely no idea whether that is part of a bigger picture or just a very local and specific anomaly. I have also seen just a slight increase in the number of pictures of empty shelves on Twitter. So I don't know. But I do wonder whether you are already feeling the pinch. Um, and, and as ever now, I, I mean, it, the people I really, really, really want to hear from are the people who are absolutely convinced that there was never going to be any pinch. How do you process the news that food and drink exports to the European Union, the people who held all the cards, have gone down by 50%? We, remember, we held all the cards. And yet, I mean, even Johnson said something about Oh, I can't remember now. Italian Prosecco, was it? So UK food and drink exports to the European Union have almost halved in the first three months of the year. Meanwhile, over at Tesco, suppliers have been forced to bin nearly 50 tonnes of food a week due to a lorry driver crisis. Imagine in a normal country that wasn't still enslaved to Brexit, imagine what the tabloid newspapers would be doing with the news that leading industry figures are calling for the army to be put on standby. Normally they love that, don't they? The people who prioritise flags over facts, the people who think that taking down a photograph, 10 students taking down a photograph of the Queen is really, really bad, but Jacob Rees-Mogg, the leader of the House of Commons, flying to Balmoral to lie to her is absolutely fine. Normally they'd love this. They've got the army on standby. This is outrage. Ah! Oh! Nope, not a word. Not a sausage, not a syllable. Such a severe situation, according to one leading industry figure, that, um, that he's calling for the government to put the army on standby to transport food. Nearly 50 tonnes of fresh food every week being thrown in bins, being mulched, whatever it may be, um, as there are too few lorry drivers to transport produce to stores.